really happy to talk about this topic. I think it's such an important topic. I actually uh, presented a, a talk to um, some uh, veterinarians and technicians and some, I think there were a few dog trainers there um, a couple years ago, and uh, yeah, it's a really important topic. And I uh, hope, really hope you get some good information out of it. I confess, coming back from this uh, this trip, I um, had wrote the presentation somewhat last minute, so if it seems a little um, like I uh, have not rehearsed it, that's why. And I usually like to make my presentations really like fun and fill with lots of fun pictures, and I this one is not. <laughs> Bear with me. And I'm sorry that I only printed like 12 copies of the handout, so I can email a copy of the handout and she can forward it to whoever to get copies. So she can share and, uh, and get some more. So um, I just want to kind of do a, a brief overview of what I'm going to be covering tonight, or kind of why this is such an important topic. Um, basically, you know, you, you want to work with veterinarians, and veterinarians want to help their clients, and we really do, and their patients. Um, and any misinformation that some veterinarians give is not due to any, um, you know, malintent or, or um, you know, it's, it's certainly just due to lack of uh, the training that we uh, wish that all veterinarians had, and unfortunately very few veterinarians. Um, although I will say, I, um, as much as I, uh, I, I really enjoy behavior myself, and I continually find that um, there, there seems to be a thought that Herman Hausen is the only veterinarian in Kansas City that does behavior. And it's nothing against him. He's great. Although, I mean, I think there's no one vet that is right for everyone. And that's just true across the board, myself included. Um, but I like for people to know that there is more than Dr. Henhouse, and I can do all the same things he, he does. I don't have all the books that he's published, or I haven't traveled internationally talk, talking on behavior, and as a result, I'm not as expensive as him, <laughs> but, um, but I do um, full behavior consultations and can help with that. Um, but I feel that there's definitely a, a, a disconnect between a lot of veterinarians and hot topics in behavior, or even common topics in behavior. So, um, the dog trainers uh, field can definitely help fill that void. And I'm curious, um, is everyone here, like raise your hand if you're a dog trainer? I'm just kind of curious if I, okay, all right. And, and just because I've been dying to ask, um, is anyone a cat trainer? <laughs> yeah? Certified in behavior medicine, very few, I think like less than 
100 or about 100 veterinarians in the entire country are board certified in veterinary medicine. Even Dr. Huttenhausen is not board certified in, in behavior. So um, I, I'm not board certified. And I still have probably more training than most, most uh, veterinarians in the area. And so as a result, there's bad wrong advice. So those are some of the challenges you're up against when, when you're trying to help veterinarians. And then from the dog trainer's perspective, you know, your challenge is, you know, how can we work better with vets and how can we disseminate some of this information that we think would be helpful um, to veterinarians and their clients? Um, so uh, 